Most modern audio devices have a very low output impedance. This acts as a short circuit to AC hum and other interference reaching the wires through the air. As long as a sending device is connected, a shield surrounding the hot conductor should not be needed. Okay, we're going to start off in my kitchen here. This is a little tiny media player uh, I bought. It's made by SanDisk, the people that make the thumb drives. Uh, it's cost $30. It's called a clip jam. And the fidelity is fantastic. People argue about D to A converters. When I bought this, I actually measured it, and it's audibly transparent. The quality is amazing. The frequency response is flat from below 10 hertz to past 20 kilohertz. I tested it with 24-bit files. Uh, the distortion and the noise were way below the noise level of the CD. So anyway, so that's my little tiny, tiny media player with an eighth inch connector and my lovely assistant Eileen here. I have a boom box up here. It's a pretty nice boom box. It actually cost a lot of money when I bought it in 1990. Uh, and uh, I, there's a wire coming out of that to the line level input that I tacked in there at one point so I could play my media player through it. Uh, so that wire is of course shielded. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert uh, 10 feet of unshielded twisted pair into the chain. And we're going to see if that makes hum. Just total, total unshielded wire. So Eileen, go ahead and uh, take that wire. Hold, in fact, hold that wire up. Uh, show us what we got here. Right. It's 10 feet of twisted pair wire with RCA connectors at each end. And suitable adapters to go into the uh, media player. Perfect. And now that little bit of hum went away. Okay, uh, so hit play on that uh, media player. All right, so we have music. So hit the same button again to stop. Now, Mike, uh, I have another assistant here. Mike, would you go over and turn the volume all the way up? Perfect. Thank you. All right. Okay. Now, uh, still no hum. I don't hear any hum. And then unplug the uh, the... And now you hear the hum because the media player is no longer short-circuiting any interference that's coming in through the air into the wire. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the, uh, the big home theater system, and we'll do that next. That's going to be a little bit more work. <laughs> Eileen's going to be crawling around on the floor for that one. Okay, now we're in the living room to try the same test with my Mackie Professional Monitors and Numerance Receiver. This comes up all the time in audio forums. All oh, the shielding really matters. Well, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Uh, so we're going to actually use unshielded wire. See if I can zoom in a little bit here. Here's the left Mackie monitor speaker in my uh, home theater. And it's got a wire that uh, right there that goes over to my nice new Marantz receiver. We're going to see what's going to happen. So Eileen, go ahead and unplug that wire from the speaker. That's a really nice, uh, actually, you know, kind of high-end RCA wire that I got somewhere. And now uh, you have to climb, <laughs> climb down and remove it from the back of the receiver. All right, we got that done. Now plug that into the speaker, the other end. Yes, when it stopped humming. Just kind of center it right on there. All right. I'm going to retire the big boss. You can see how that's working out for me. Okay. No hum. You can hear there's no hum coming out. So now uh, unplug it from the back of the receiver, and now we will hear hum because the receiver's output impedance is not a factor anymore. But yeah, wave that wire around. And, and move it over by the power cords in the back there. Yeah, so even, even that doesn't really matter much. I think this demonstration proves it's a myth that high-quality shielding justifies paying high prices for RCA wires that connect line-level active audio devices. However, shielding is important with low-level passive devices, such as electric guitars and basses, and also phonograph cartridges. Without active electronics to provide a low output impedance, AC power line hum in the air can affect the audio when a wire is unshielded.